we were pretty bummed to see Dan go. These trips are always best when it's Dad, Dan, and I all fishing together. At the same time, though, we couldn't wait to get another shot at the Madison River. Dad and I stayed one additional day at the Missouri after Dan's departure before heading to our next destination. It was a perfect day to hit the road. The sun was bright, the skies clear, and the Montana scenery just breathtaking. So we just arrived here at the Madison. We left the Missouri earlier this morning after we fished the morning. And actually we left just in time. The weather started to get real bad, pretty windy. We, Dad and I just set up camp here. We're literally right on the river. You can see that behind us. And we're pretty excited. T stopped in at Trout Stalkers here and they said that uh, the fishing has been absolutely fantastic. So we're looking forward to hitting the water here. Just got to the water here, Dad and I waded across. It was actually pretty shallow, really nice wading. And we're gonna fish a lot of this braided water. So for that, I know Dan and I were saying last time we were here, we wish we could have redone it with the tight line rig. So for that rig, I ended up, I came prepared this time. I brought an 11 foot three weight, uh, risen fly rod, and we got kind of a mono rig set up on here with a lot of legs double trouble. So we'll see what we can do in this braided water. Well, it's not saying much, but first fish of the trip so far. Get them back in. That was on the live of the legs, double trouble. Well, it's been all real little stuff so far. Another fish, rainbow, but uh, I've been picking up a few just kind of along that bank over in there. Hopefully we get into some bigger stuff here. We're back at camp now, it's 8.30. We're just cooking up supper. Then we're gonna hit it real early. We're going up river. We're gonna fish some of the upper sections tomorrow. Just got to the water here, uh, freezing morning. We drove up river about an hour or so from Ennis and we're gonna suit up, but it's really cool. So we're gonna take our time, look at the water a little bit, kinda see what's what, tie up, and uh, then we'll get to fishing. Small waltz, huh? Yep, one of the waltz. Good, things weren't too much of a mess yet. This has been about the extent of the action so far this morning. A couple of white fish. Dad's actually caught some nice ones, but all of mine have been small. I'm 
standing here uh, tying on my fly and I'm consistently seeing a fish rise out there. Uh, seeing one down below me here too. So what I'm going to try here first is just a small 18x caddis. We saw some small little caddis bumping on the water but then maybe we'll try a PMD. And actually something to note here, we just stopped in at the fly shop and they said that everything is really running late here. So we might even run into some salmon flies and things like that. So I did buy one, wasn't anticipating salmon flies, so I didn't tie any, but might run like a smaller fly off the back of something like that or like a Golden Stone Chubby Chernobyl. But uh, hopefully the dry fly action heats up here. Caught a small cutthroat here. Actually fishing kind of close to a feeder stream. Beautiful little fish. Yeah, I don't think you'll ever see that on camera. Yeah, I don't think so either. Right in the center of the frame. I, I, it must be laying down. I kept hearing something. Then I kept looking back, and then finally when you came down, I was I was going to tell you I, I was hearing something over there. I, and then I saw it. There's a moose. Well, Dad's got a fish there. Real small one on a $3 dip. Hooked into a decent cutthroat here. Beautiful fish. Gorgeous. There he goes. That came on a, a uh, Live the Legs Double Trouble. Something just really heavy. But as you can see, that current behind us is just ripping through there. We've just been fishing it from the bank and picking out little eddies behind rocks and things like that. And uh, he was holding in some quick water, but the tight line rig really, really works well in this type of an environment for sure. I think I may have mentioned it a little earlier actually, but uh, one of the cool things that's happening right now is everything's been so cold and so late that we're actually hitting some salmon flies here. I was throwing a golden stone a little bit earlier because they're, they're later too and I've been seeing people throwing those bigger chubby Chernobyls, dropper type things. It would be neat to catch one on a salmon fly but the nymphing's been pretty productive so we'll see. Maybe, maybe we'll throw one if we get to that point but I've heard uh, too that sometimes that hatch is a little bit overrated but I've never experienced it. Yet another white fish. Seems to be that kind of a day. A lot of these guys. They're a lot of fun. They really they really fight well, kind of like a brown trout where they bulldog down, but a lot of white fish and a lot of small trout. But uh, some beautiful scenery. We're uh, stopping for lunch right now, eating some of the leftovers from last night from supper. It's spaghetti with deer sausage. Uh, it's just some good stuff. Just ha just were up at the slide in, stopped in there, looked around a little bit. And then we're gonna be fishing here in probably the next next half hour or so. Uh, water looks real good, great pocket water at this location, so we're really looking forward to it. here and already hooked into the first fish. Good rainbow on a waltz worm. And 
man, he literally, he just went right under that undercut bank. I think that tells you something. So we'll have to maybe try fishing some undercut banks. But this is pocket water Nirvana. So we've been tight lining it, and so far it's paid off. Little brownie. Dad with a good fish on. Nice rainbow. I'm gonna try and help him net it. It is extremely difficult to bring fish in here. We've both hooked into multiple, but not able to bring anything in. I do see it. Yeah, I do see it, Dad. It's a nice rainbow. Small fish streak continues. Little rainbow, got on a, a $3 dip, seeing some caddis. Uh, coming off here, couple of fish working. Uh, but we're gonna stick with nymphs. Dad had hooked into two here earlier, but uh, wasn't able to bring him in. Action has been great, we haven't even been here 15 minutes. Hooked into a nice rainbow here on a crippled blue winged olive. Good fish. That's on the, uh, there's a really great pot of fish just working right out here in front of me. And I just could not touch them on a nymph. So I put a, uh, switched up a little bit, put a blue winged olive on my, my uh, Euro nymph rod here. And it literally first cast, boom, brought him in and it was a nice fish. Just hooked into a nice rainbow here. There's, those fish are working out there like crazy. I uh, got this one on the caddis, but I lost one on a blue and olive. That was my last one. Switched to another caddis, lost that one. These fish, they just, they'll take that fly and they'll run out into that current and just break you right off. Luckily, I was able to bring this in and really kind of fight it against the rocks and everything. So it was really, it was a tough fight, but boy, was it a blast. And I think that's the one that we're gonna end on. We got an hour drive back to camp, but uh, what a day. It was really quite the day and that was a good fish to end on for sure. This was definitely the coldest morning that we've ever had in Montana. Uh, it was tough sleeping because of the cold. Woke up, had our had our oatmeal and coffee, and now we're out on the water. Uh, gonna be fishing some braided water here this morning before we leave. And right now I am at a awesome little run. And I guarantee you there's gotta be a couple of fish in there. Not really what I was expecting to be living in there, <laughs> but uh, it's still it's a fish. Dad's hooked up with a fish. He just caught one here, uh, fishing this bank a little bit ago, smaller. He said this one's a little bit nicer. A lot of small fish down in through here. All right, a little bit of a nicer fish here, finally. Everything's been either white fish or really tiny. But uh, boy, was he a jumper. It's a blast to fight, but there he is. Nice fish. There he goes. Wow, he shot off. This place gets so much pressure, it's unreal. We even walk down here a ways.
good fish. Wow, that's a gorgeous fish. And there he goes. Wow. So one uh, quick observation after Dad caught that brown here is actually hooked into a fish behind me. But uh, we had worked this stretch through uh, once prior to going back through and, and actually him hooking that nicer fish. I worked it through with a dry going up and then back down and actually dad was working it up with nymphs and then we decided to redo it. And that fish just held in there. We just switched flies and uh, he had on a lively legs double trouble and was able to really crush that, crush that fish there on the second, second round through after the switch. Another rainbow. Pretty little fish. We're catching a ton of these real little guys. And uh, I mean, we're still catching some nicer ones, but there's been plenty of little ones. I actually have one on. How about that? My rod's hanging down below me. And I just hooked into a fish. And he got off. And that kind of wraps up our fishing trip on the Madison. After the morning fish, we went back to camp, made some lunch, tore down the tent, packed up the truck, and headed over to Missoula, where we were going to visit Nick for a little bit. And after a couple of days in Missoula, we headed home, and that really wraps up our Montana series. This video, along with the rest of our series, is far from being professional. They're supposed to tell a story. The goal isn't to have cinematic fish releases and showcase elegant slow motion casts, but rather to preserve these memories for us. The time I spent with my dad and brother and the memories that we shared together are something that I'll never forget and something that I want to preserve. If you enjoyed these videos, be sure to leave a comment and give us a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, be sure to do so. And even if you are, hit that button at the bottom of the screen here that way you get a notification every time we release new content. As always, we thank you all very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.